Ow. Hey, what's happening? You one Sir James coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm here to show you guys another Nintendo Switch product. Now, three weeks ago, I showed you guys the Nintendo Switch official backpack, and ever since then, a lot of you guys have been asking me all sorts of different questions, and of course, I've been asking me about another product, which I finally got my hands on it, and that's this. The official Nintendo Switch messenger bag. This is made by the same company who made the backpack, which means they make some pretty good products. Uh, anyways, here is the messenger bag itself. As you can see, it's a lot smaller, slick, and just looks pretty dang cool. And again, this is a messenger bag, so you do get the shoulder straps included. However, you don't have to use it, so if you want to carry it around, kind of like a briefcase style, then you have that option too. So to quickly go over, there's two zippers. There is the main zipper here, and of course, there is a zipper back here. If I open this up here, the zipper uh, in terms of the pocket back here is not super deep as you can see. That's about the length of it goes, but it's pretty much the full length of the bag here and about just halfway down. And basically what this is going to be used for is kind of store some uh, lighter items such as if you have your loose games or if you have to, your loose games in like one of those thin cases, you could toss it in here, some microfiber cloths. So again, basic things like that. You can fit a full size Nintendo Switch game cartridge, or not just the cartridge, but I'm talking about like the entire case, but it's gonna take up most of the space, so kind of keep that in mind. So again, your space back here is extremely limited. Also too, one thing that I should mention is that the Nintendo Switch messenger bag retails for $40, while the backpack retails for 50, so keep that in mind, because at the end, we're gonna go ahead and kind of go over the two. So next up, you have a center pocket right here. You open this up and this is where all your items will be held. Some of the things that you may notice right away is that you have the Nintendo Switch icon all over the bag in terms of the inside while you just have the one nice simple logo on the very front. So open up back here. This is where all your pockets, all your accessories will lay in. And again, very easy, simple. What I like about the bag though, is that you have this nice pouch here for your actual uh, Switch console itself. What's cool is that it's not just a little patch where it kind of rests in there, you actually get a carrying case with it. So you open this up, and you actually get a case for your Switch console, which is pretty cool. So first off, here's the case. It's simple, it has the Nintendo Switch logo on here. On the back, it has two indents where your Joy-Cons will be resting in. And of course, you open this up. And of course, there is your Nintendo Switch and it holds up very well, so it's not going to fall out of this. And what's neat about this is the fact that not only do you get a case for your system itself, now what's pretty cool about this is that with this in hand is that you basically have three layers of protection for your Switch console. This is layer number one. Toss that in here when not in use. Close this, that's layer number two. Close this up, and that's layer number three. And that's pretty cool. That's a lot more protection compared to what the backpack may offer you. Next up, you also have a pocket here for, of course, your dock. You have another pocket here so you could bring your HDMI cable and, of course, power cable, which I currently have in here. It's just the power cable. Then you have another pocket here. On the bag, it was advertising the um, Joy-Con grip, but instead I have the Pro Controller in here so I could take that with me on the go. Or if you don't want to, if you don't have a pro controller, you could probably store some extra joy cons in there. What's actually nice is that there is a rubber band type strap in here. It's kind of hard to see. I'll do some close-ups. Uh, so you can actually kind of wrap the controller around so it's not going to like basically be loose in there and kind of funnel around. Um, but overall that's basically about it. Like I said, you also get the shoulder straps included, which will be resting here as soon as you open up the bag. And again, that's pretty much that's all that's to it. Now the main question here is which one is the best option to go with? Should you get the Nintendo Switch Messenger Bag or should you get the Nintendo Switch Backpack? Let's go ahead and start with the Messenger Bag. Now the Messenger Bag, keep in mind, is $10 cheaper going at $40. On the plus side is that it's a lot slicker and it has a just overall nice design tone too. Actually both bags offer a nice design tone. Um, but what's another nice positive thing about this is the fact that it also includes a case for your Nintendo Switch console itself. So you're getting a case and a bag at the same time. However, on the downside for the messenger bag is the fact that there's not a lot of storage options. So again, you're very limited in terms of the amount of space that you're able to utilize. 
Now, as far as the Nintendo Switch backpack goes, if you decide to spend the extra $10, not only are you getting this nice heavy duty backpack here, but it's the fact that you have way more storage options to uh, be utilized with this because on the very back here, there's pockets to store your Switch, the dock, everything just like this bag does. However, it also has design slots to store extra sets of Joy-Cons. There's also a pocket dedicated to the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. There's even a pocket in here that could store a full size set of headphones like Astros, for example. Uh, there's another pocket up in the front here designed to store your extra games. So again, just a lot of storage options and you could even fit a laptop or a MacBook or a textbook whatever it is that you need to take with you. So again, that's just some of the key differences to work with. So if you're someone who has a lot of accessories or maybe you're going to school or something like that, this may be the option to go with. If you're basically someone who's gonna be a little bit more simplistic, you don't have all that extra accessories, you don't care about all that extra stuff, then maybe the messenger bag may be the best option for you. But that's pretty much it. Now that I've showed you guys the Nintendo Switch backpack and messenger bag, let me know which one you guys like in the comment section down below. As for me, I'm personal fans of the Nintendo Switch backpack. However, this design here, just without the actual shoulder strap, looks pretty cool as well. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.